Yo, what's up, YouTube? What's up, Raider Nation? It's your boy, Mr. Raider Kid here. It's that time, baby. It's that week. Free agency is right around the corner. March 9th, it gets really underway. But tomorrow, Tuesday, March 7th, is where players and agents or teams and agents can start negotiating, start talking. That's when it gets real crazy. Hey, thank you for tuning in. Uh, if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. Uh, feel free to always comment. If you're not a Raider fan, that's fine, man. Stick around. If you want to hear another team's opinion, that's always cool. Or if you kind of uh, need some information about free agency, I'm going to drop a little bit on you. Uh, like team cap space, tagged players, and I give you my top 20 best available free agents. And then I'll get over to my Raiders and what I think the Raiders need to do this year to make us uh, Super Bowl contenders. That's right. Super Bowl contenders. I didn't fucking stutter this time. Let's go. I'm excited. I watched last year's video, which I never really watch my videos because I cringe and it it's, uh, bugs me out. But man, that shit was trash. This year, this video is going to be a lot better. So let's get underway. Let's start with the tagged franchise players. Uh, if you don't know what the franchise tag is, is when the team uh, pretty much... Uh, puts a hold on that player making them uh, unavailable to become a free agent and it gives them a max a one year contract of what they can make in one year so for example the Rams uh, franchise tag Tremaine Johnson a cornerback and he'll be making the most that he can for this year which is 16.7 million dollars and he did sign that contract today so he will be playing some of these players can hold out um, the idea is that the franchise tag is a way to try to get them to sign a long-term deal uh, but if um, some teams just use this to make sure that they don't lose them and try a whole nother year to do it. Some players don't like that. They'll hold out. They won't play. Uh, Eric Berry was one of those guys that was going to do that, but he uh, he did sign a long-term deal with the Chiefs. So some other players off of Jermaine Johnson is the Panthers tagged came on short. Uh, Giants tagged Jama Jason Pierre-Paul. Steelers tagged Le'Veon Bell. The Cardinals tagged Chandler Jones. The Chargers tagged Melvin Ingram. And the Redskins tagged Kirk Cousins. I believe this is the second year in a row. So, with that being said, those are the franchise tag players. Uh, not too much of an impact. It does take uh, Kawan Short off of the free agency list. Unfortunately, he was a really he was a guy that I was hoping that the Raiders could go after. Uh, it's been in talks for the silver and black or whatnot because uh, defensive tackle is a need. So let's go now to the teams with the most cap space. I'll do top ten. I'll try to do it real quick. I don't want to spend too much time on it. But listen out for your team if they are in the top 10. The Browns have $102 million in cap space. This is a lot of money, man. And I think they can lure over some people over to Cleveland, even though they just had a one-win uh, season. They got a lot of things going good for them now with Hugh Jackson, the head coach. Uh, you may see some, if they do this right, if they play their cards right, you can see some improvements in Cleveland pretty soon with their football life. The 49ers have $76 million in cap with second most. Jaguars are back up there again, man. 70 mil uh, in cap space. The Buccaneers have $66 million. Titans with 61. Patriots with 59. Colts, 53 million. Bears, 51. The Raiders with 42 million. And the Broncos with 42 million as well. So, those are the top 10 teams. There's some other ones kind of right behind it in the 40 to $30 million range, uh, which is still a good amount of money. You can go out and sign a couple players. The Raiders uh, could release a couple players. And uh, by like, like to say Reggie Nelson, for example, I think he'll free up like $6 million in cap uh, if he's released. Uh, so that's just uh, something to keep in mind. If you see the Raiders start releasing players or if they do release one or two, it's for cap reasons and they're going to go and try to sign somebody big. So with that being said, I'm going to go through top 20 best available free agents right now. Here we go. Real quick. Listen carefully. I'll say the team they're coming from and their position. Number. Uh, let's start from 20. Let's start from 20 and go up. Uh, 20 best available. Zach Brown, inside linebacker, previously played for the Bills. You got Riley uh, Relief, uh, right tackle uh, for the Detroit Lions. T.J. McDonald, formerly played for the Rams. Strong safety. Andrew Whitworth, a tackle from the Bengals. Martellus Bennett, tight end from the New England Patriots. Nick Perry, outside linebacker from the Packers. T.J. Lane. Um, also uh, coming from the Packers, I believe, Tony Jefferson, uh, strong safety coming from the Cardinals, Deshaun Jackson coming from Washington, uh, Don Terry Poe, uh, now I'm getting into the top 10 here, Don Terry Poe coming from the Kansas City Chiefs, someone to look out for, Terrell Pryor coming from Cleveland, um, a right receiver, he shined this year, man, he, did really, he really proved a lot of people wrong, Adrian Peterson, running back from Minnesota, 
uh, Kevin Zittler tackle. Uh, I forget where he's uh, where he's coming from. Uh, Stephon Gilmore, uh, cornerback coming from Buffalo. AJ Boyd, cornerback coming from Houston. Dante Hightower coming from New England, middle linebacker. Brandon Williams, nose tackle coming from Baltimore, and then you have. Calias Campbell, defensive end, coming from Arizona, and Alshon Jeffrey tops the list, coming from Chicago Bears. So those are the top 20 best available free agents. There's a lot of really big names like Alshon Jeffrey there, Calias Campbell, Dante Hightower, who just won a Super Bowl. Uh, you have Adrian Peterson, who's a free agent at uh, at his age, though, because does he have enough gas left? And then uh, Dante Poe is a guy that the Chiefs didn't have enough cap space to franchise tag. So... We'll see what happens with that man there. All right, now, now with the top 20 being in, all in, in mind now, I'm going to go with the Raiders' team needs. For the Oakland Raiders, what was a struggle that we had in 2016 and during the season was defense, right? And that's where I want the Raiders to focus on in the draft and free agency, whatever, because, honestly, the offense is there. You're missing, really, a right tackle, maybe a solid, consistent tight end, and another receiver, maybe for that slot, and a running back that you can plug in. Other than that, you have all the other pieces. You have your one and two receivers. You have your franchise quarterback. We can use maybe a better backup, that's for sure, just in case. Um, you have your beast of offensive line. You're just inconsistent at that right tackle spot. And the tight end spot, Clive Walford, you know, he's shown a lot of good things, but also dropped a lot of balls. So that's, and you have Lee Smith that's going to come back from injury, who's our blocking tight end. Maybe a tight end is something to go in and dress a little bit and the right tackle position. That's offense. So like I said, on defense is where I want the Raiders to really pursue because you have a middle linebacker need. That was definitely something we struggled with. Interior on defensive line, that defensive tackle spot is somewhere that the Raiders need to improve on. The safety position is still... Uh, it's still not there, you know, Carl Joseph, his rookie year, playing that strong safety position. He's getting hurt here and there um, during that season. He didn't play a full year, so uh, maybe uh, another player in the in the back in the secondary to help out. And Reggie Nelson is of age. He's not going to be here for that long, and he may not even be on the team in the next coming days. We'll find out. And then, of course, cornerback. Cornerback play was uh, very, very bad. Uh, I'd say the only cornerback that uh, played well was DJ Hayden. Uh, ironically, right? Uh, Sean Smith had declined. David Anderson had declined in their place. So, uh, it's still cornerback is still a, a place to address for sure. That's our team needs, right there. If you feel free during this whole process while you're watching it, don't worry, it's not over yet. You can comment now, man. Uh, leave a comment if you disagree with something. But now I'm gonna get to where we should address, and this is my favorite part here. And if you guys follow Bruce Irving on Twitter, and if you don't, you really should. If you don't have a Twitter, sign up. Follow Mr. Brady Kid, uh, 24 I believe that's my handle. Uh, but uh, he's hilarious, man. He's already started with the recruiting, and he's already tweeted at Khalil Campbell and Dante Hightower to come join the Silver and Black. Tony Tony Jefferson, safety from the Cardinals, uh, has been talking about Oakland and and, and uh, Oakland being his favorite team growing up, and knowing that they have money in free agency. And then the Raiders have been tied with. Martellus Bennett and Adrian Peterson as potential landing spots uh, in Oakland for these two free agents. So here's my breakdown and here's what I think we need to do. And I think Khalees Campbell and Dante Hightower are two players we need to go after and go after hard. I know last year in, in Malik Jackson and Dominican Sue were guys that I really wanted on the team. Uh, it was defensive tackle. Um, and it didn't work out. And it, I'm glad it didn't work out. This, this is what, maybe not Dom can sue, I'm sorry. Uh, this is what we need right here. We need a guy like Dante Hightower to come in here and change. He will be a game changer at middle linebacker, and that's for damn sure. Khalees Campbell is somebody, a veteran, someone really smart, someone that can play this game of football. Guy that we need on that defensive line, especially in the interior, to apply that pressure. Those two, if we just sign those two players, I'm good. I'm great. I'm ready for next season already, baby. Still have the draft to go through. But these are two players that you need to watch out for, Raider Nation, in the next few days. If you have a Twitter, go tweet them. Start your own recruiting. Uh, the little silly things like that, it goes a long way. Uh, you, you've heard what Charles Woodson said about when he came back to the facility and saw the fans. It was overwhelming. That's why we're the best in the league, best in the world right here, Raider Nation. But... These two guys are what we need to go for. Adrian Peterson would be really cool, but you know what? At the end of the day, we don't need him. 
Uh, Latavius Murray is probably going to test out the free agent waters, and if he doesn't come back to Oakland, it's because he's got a monster contract in somewhere else like Philadelphia or, uh, let's say, fucking Tampa Bay, or Jacksonville, I don't know, somewhere where they have money and they're going to spend it. The Colts. Um, he would be really cool to see in silver and black, uh, but it's definitely somewhere where we don't need to spend or rather spend on defense, right? Uh, and if we don't get someone like Khalil Campbell, there's a Dante Poe out there. You can go and sign a guy that's been uh, very dominant in the AFC West, and we know that for sure. Guy, you can go and sign Tony Jefferson. I really like um, because we still need a little bit of help at safety. I think he, uh, him or T.J. McDonald would both be solid signings in the secondary for a safety position. Somebody of lower class for defensive tackle. Someone uh, names to watch out for. Maybe like a Chris Baker who maybe can play inside, and then Nick Fairley. Nick Fairley is a very, a very old vet now, uh, but you can probably get him on a really cheap deal, and you know how Reggie is without his money and all that good stuff. Deshaun Jackson um, is one where, you know, we had that whole d to Oakland thing, and then he went to Washington. Um, it'd be poetic justice if he ended up in the silver and black, but honestly, I really don't care. He'd be a solid third, and I feel like speed at that slot position would be so so great for Carr and just the offense alone. Um, it'd be cool, but I think he's going to sign probably with the Niners, honestly. I think they'll pay him a lot of money um, or, or even end up maybe somewhere else. Um, but I don't see him returning to Washington. But I don't know about him um, spending money on a guy like that, maybe where you can put in money other way, other areas. Like, like I said, defense, man, that's where we need to focus. Martellus Bennett. Um, I don't want to downplay it like, no, we don't want Martellus Bennett. I'd see it makes sense why you would go out and get a guy like that. Uh, I wouldn't be mad at it. I'd hope it'd come at the right price, and I'm not sure what this guy's looking for. This guy's came out and said, like, you got to know your value and stuff. So he's not one to, like, you know, take less money to go somewhere. He's one that wants to get paid. Uh, and will we pay him? Uh, well, who knows? Who knows? We'll see. AJ Bowie from Houston uh, is a guy to also look forward, uh, look out for. Do we go corner again this free agency? I'm not too sure. Um, I, I see potential other players that we would we would go and sign, uh, but I don't know about a cornerback. Maybe we draft one. It all depends on Reggie. You know it. Uh, at the end of the day, but these are some of the players that I like. Maybe a downgrade from a receiver. Not a downgrade, but somewhere of a lesser uh, lesser value is a Kenny Stills. Uh, as receiver for maybe a slot uh, that would be cool or re-sign Andre Holmes because I love Andre Holmes and I don't want to see him in another team jersey honestly Zach Brown uh, maybe somebody to consider if we swing and miss on Dante Hightower or just re-sign uh, Perry Riley Jr. so you have a stable solidified player at that position and we're not backtracking at all because that would suck so if you missed it if I talk too fast my hands, movements, and all that. Let me break it down. Khalees Campbell, Dante Hightower are top two valuable, valuable, valuable free agents that we should go and swing for. These guys are going to get paid if they wherever they go. And if it's to Oakland, I'll be fine with it because you know what? That's going to really make our team defense better. Those two guys alone. Uh, some other guys to look out for are Dante Poe and Tony Jefferson. I really like those two. I think those two guys I'd be really happy with as well. And Adrian Peterson and Martellus Bennett on the offensive side are two guys uh, that will definitely help, definitely put in a fit to the offense, uh, but not a need. Uh, and I think the other two guys are need. And you, you go shopping for need, I feel like, and you draft best available. But that's something... Uh, that's two different spectrums, of course, and we're at the spectrum where we need to go and get some needs, help the team get better. And uh, I'm really excited for what's going to have to play, take place, and I'm hoping, like it was last year, man, where we, we got big, and we got big quick. Uh, so, guys, thank you for your time, for watching. If you like this video, comment, like, and subscribe if you're new. Share it to the other Raider Nation. Share to uh, just football fans in general, man, that want to hear uh, I, I tried looking up some free agent frenzy videos, and I, I saw a couple, but it was, a couple were kind of lame. Um, but I, I like this, like, I'd like to hear just someone talk about their team and what they're going to do and things like that. It's cool to hear a different perspective. Uh, so if you're still watching this and you're not a Raider fan, thank you. I appreciate you uh, for your time and uh, listening to my ugly voice and face and all that good shit. But that's my time. I'm Mr. Raider Kid. Uh, thank you guys for watching very much. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, I'll be coming out with a video as soon as some sh big shit happens, man. Probably Thursday night. Uh, so get your popcorn ready. It's going to be 
uh, not a long week because it's going to go by real quick, man. I'm really excited. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, man, the Raiders do big. Do big, man. Go big or go home. Just win, baby. we got to have that commitment to excellence. Uh, we got $42 million to spend. Let's spend it wisely. You, you know, you got to think about Carr and Mack and their contracts pretty soon. But with these new rookie deals, you can go and you can build around and then get that big contract later. So uh, thankful for that. Um, and that's my time, man. Khalil Campbell, Dante Hightower, Dante Poe, Tony Jefferson, Adrian Peterson, my top five I'd like to see in silver and black and that we could need and use pretty much. Thank you guys for watching. Enough now. Go play some Madden. Drink a Bud Light. Peace out. Raider Nation. Peace.